Solve by completing the square. We have x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0. So we're going to solve this by completing the square. Now the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what is the leading coefficient? And the leading coefficient is a 1. So the first thing we always want to do is divide by the leading coefficient if it's not 1. But in this case, if we divide by 1, it's going to still give us the same particular uh, equation. So right now, we're going to write this out. We have x squared plus 6x minus 7, and that's equal to 0. Okay, so this so far is the beginning part of completing the square. Now the next thing is we want to keep the variable terms on the left side of the equation, and then we're going to add or the constant to the right side of the equation. So that means we're going to add 7 to both sides. Okay, so by doing that, in step number 2, we're going to get the following. We have x squared plus 6x. Make sure you leave a space. And then on this side, it is 7. Okay, and so now what we want to do is we want to be able to complete the square. By completing the squares, we're going to add a constant n to both sides. Okay, now what does n represent? So over here to the right, n is going to equal 1 half of the middle term b, and then we're going to square it. Okay, now we need to determine what is b in the problem. Well, if you notice, b is plus 6. So that is the number that represents b. So that means we're going to take 1 half of positive 6, and then we're going to square it. Now, what is 1 half of 6? Well, 1 half of 6 is 3. And then when we square it, n is going to equal 9. So now what we're going to do in step number 3 is to now replace the value of n to be 9. So we have x squared plus 6x plus 9, and that's equal to 7 plus 9. Okay, so now if you take a look at this problem over here, Okay, this represents a perfect square trinomial, meaning what did we have to square to get x squared? Well, what we had to square to get x squared is x, but we're going to write it in this factored form. What we had to square to get x is x. Okay, what did we have to square to get positive 9? Well, that is over here. This number that we had to square was a 3, and that's a positive 3. So now, we now rewritten this perfect square trinomial in factored form. And now we're going to set it equal to 7 plus 9, which is 16. Okay, and now we're going to use the square root property to solve. So we're going to take the square root of the left side, which is the square root of parentheses x plus 3 squared. And then we're going to take the square root of the right side. But remember, when you take the square root of a constant, it's going to give you a plus or minus, and if you got to make sure to remember to include that. Okay, now when we take the square root of x plus 3 squared, the question is asking us, what do I have to square to get x plus 3 squared? Well, that answer is x plus 3. Okay, and now this is plus or minus. Well, what do you have to square to get 16? Well, the answer is 4. Okay. Now the next step is you want to solve and isolate x. So we're going to subtract 3, but make sure you put it in front of the plus or minus. So now in step number 7, we're going to have x, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 4. So we're going to have two solutions. We have negative 3 minus 4, and then we're going to have negative 3 plus 4. So negative 3 minus 4 is going to give us negative 7 and negative 3 plus 4 is going to give us positive 1. So therefore, in step number 8, we have our two solutions. Our two solutions are negative 7 and then 1. Let's go ahead and check our answer. So we have negative 7, comma, 1. Check our answer, and there is our result.